G'day guys, I'm Wazalang and welcome to another ENB playthrough. Okay, so as promised uh, a few weeks ago now, we are going to be checking out Prismatic EMB by Armoured Feathers. Um, now, sorry about the delay guys, um, but I was waiting for an um, update uh, to this EMB, which has now happened, so it is up to version 2.1. And it's also using the latest EMB binaries as well, which is just recently updated as well to a 0 0.390. So obviously we are running um, all the uh, updated versions of those two. And I must say I'm really loving this EMB. Um, it looks gorgeous. Uh, we can't see too much at the moment, it's um, only 8 o'clock in the morning and we're still sitting in the shadow of that mountain right there, so... Still a little bit dark, but I'm sure if the weather stays fine it's going to brighten up quite a bit. And what we're up to today is, um, we're actually heading to uh, Riften. Well, you may... Uh, hello. Uh, you may remember in the last episode we crashed the Thalmor party to find out some info about the uh, returning dragons and it turns out that a guy named Esburn may have some information he's an old blade and we believe he is hiding out somewhere in Riften so I wonder, what does the dragonborn do once he's been summoned by the graybeards can the thum be taught like any skill uh pretty much you do have to kill dragons though and I think we're tasked with talking to Bernioff, um, who is in Riften. He may know the whereabouts of Esbern. So that is the plan today. And I thought that would give us a nice little stroll um, to check out this EMB. And you'll see Crystal's sporting some new armor as well. Uh, this one is called Eureka... Chevrolet, uh, hang on, Eureka Chevrolet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm not saying that right. Um, I will leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check that one out. Um, as you can see, it does have physics on it, just on the skirt, which quite realistic in my opinion. Wow. They really do sound like gunshots, it's crazy, <laughs> or explosions. But you can see um, the reflection on this armor. I love it, it just looks insane. You can actually make out trees in those reflections. Really cool. Okay, so with this uh, EMB, um, it's to be used with uh, NAT, Natural and Atmospheric Temeral. And um, just be aware that you do have to turn off a few of the uh, NAT settings um, to get the best and the most out of this EMB and actually have it working properly. Oh, hello there, Mr. Wolf. What the hell are you doing? Behind you. Okay, you can keep the arrow. Uh oh. Wrong. Just wanted to get a little bit of distance between me and these guys. Oh, that one was in the knee, I do believe. Critical strike, thank you. I've got a feeling there's more of those guys, so I'm not going to go back and loot them. I'm just going to push on. Uh, so yeah, as I was saying, um, to be used with NAT, uh, a few little things you have to turn off. Um, it's all written in the description of the um, EMB under the uh, install section. So just make sure you follow that and do everything that's required. Otherwise, it's not going to look right. Oh, Jesus. Hello. Whoa, back up, guy. Back up. 
Yeah, that's what you get. Ugh. That's just disgusting. What the hell did you eat last night? Wow, there's more of them. Ow. That one really, really hurt. Yeah, come on. Oh my god. Stop staggering. Oh. Jesus. That was a bad miss. Oh my god, I felt that. I am getting wrecked right now. Hopefully that dropped her. Yeah. Yeah, no more red dots. That was it. Cool. Alright, what have you got? Hmm. Nothing I really want. Oh yeah, take my arrow. Eight septums. Wow. Thanks. So, we've just got the sun starting to peak up above the mountain top. It will be nice when it comes out. Brighten things up a little. Okay, those guys didn't have too much at all. Um, one thing I've noticed with this EMB, the uh, depth of field is absolutely gorgeous. It's probably my favourite that I've seen anywhere. I just love the blur. It's not overdone. Okay, if you get really close to something, things start to get very blurred in the background. Uh, but how often are you that close to something, really? Um, so probably about there is about the most you're going to be, I would think, um, going past an object. And I just really love the distant blur. Um, I think it's spot on. Absolutely adore it. And yeah, just when I'm playing uh, by myself, I normally don't have depth of field on. Um, but I have actually turned on all the bells and whistles on this one. Um, I did notice when I first installed it, um, the cloud shadows were off, detailed shadows were off, distance shadows were off. So I did go ahead and turn all of those on. Uh, when we get a bit of a view, I'll um, just turn it on and off so you can see the uh, difference that it actually makes. We'll just get uh, a bit further up this... Oh, Jesus. A bit further up this track. A couple of trolls rushing me. Oh, I'm not happy about that. You want some more? Sorry, what's that? Oh, you do? Okay. Well, that was very nice of them. I got my arrows back. Actually, we'll just see what the view's like from this rock. Um, yeah, not too bad. Alright, so we'll just um, quickly turn the EMB off. So that's just vanilla there. Um, obviously we still have NAT weather installed. And then that's the EMB on. Obviously it looks a hell of a lot better. Uh, but it does darken things up quite a bit as well. But that's okay, because um, it's looking a little bit overcast at the moment, so there's not a lot of sunlight. Um, and obviously I have seen it with full sun. And it looks absolutely gorgeous. Um, another thing I love about this is the contrast uh, between the um, sunlit areas and the shadows. Um, I think it's absolutely spot on. Um, it's quite substantial. Uh, the shadows are quite dark. But I absolutely love that. I think it looks quite realistic. And yeah, just really impressed with this EMB. Um, beautiful colours, sunset and sunrise as well. A 
Yeah, I'll just had a tree pop in there. So as you know, I've gone back to my enhanced vanilla tree setup um, with Dindu Lord's 3D Ultra Trees, um, and also a few others. I've got the uh, trees add-on mod installed as well. Um, enhanced landscapes. Um, also, a little mod that um, I made myself, which puts a couple of uh, verts trees into the mix, um, and also. Oh, there is one more. I can't think of it right now. Ah, oh, the Reach Tree Replacer mod. Uh, they all have um, 3D LODs. They all support that. So yeah, I think um, the overall look at the end is um, pretty pretty awesome. Um, I'm not getting lost here, am I? No, that's the right track. Cool. Been so long since I've uh, walked this track. So like most uh, high-end EMBs, um, I've noticed this one is fairly heavy on performance if you've got all the bells and whistles turned on, which I have at the moment. Um, so like the others, it's probably... Um, dropping around probably around 15 frames uh, on average I would say uh, but obviously you can get quite a few of those back if you turn off things like depth of field um, and also those uh, shadow settings which I mentioned just before uh, then you'll get quite a bit of performance back And one other thing about this uh, EMB, it um, has quite a blue tinge to it as well. It's not over overdone, but I guess it just gives uh, the whole area that uh, feeling of uh, coldness. So you can see now, full sun, um, hardly a cloud in the sky, and uh, yeah, it's nice and bright. Which I believe is quite realistic. And you can see that blue tinge I was just talking about. I actually really like the colour of the sky as well. It's um, a little bit more aqua, I guess, than what I'm used to, but um, yeah, I've sort of grown to like it. I think mainly because it's a little bit different to uh, most of the other EMBs. Oh, hello there. What a fancy horse you have. Wow, that is some seriously good-looking horse armor right there. Holy mackerel. Dude, your horse is kitted out better than you are. At least he has a horse, I guess. I'm sure I've got a horse somewhere, I just don't know where it is. Oh, what the hell? Man, you look possessed. Chill. Huh, got nothing to say. Uh, what? These guys are seriously on guard right now. Maybe there was a fight. Okay, there's a dead storm cloak. Keep your guard. I'd say, oh yeah, there's just been a massive brawl. 
That's why these guys are so pumped up. The Imperials. What the rebels like to forget. I'm glad I didn't take out those first few. With all these guys hiding around the corner. I don't think it would last long. Oh, what the hell? Dude. That was very ballsy on your part. What the hell? You taking on a whole army? Really? How did you think it was going to end? Oh, I almost feel like I should have jumped in there and helped him out. That would have been ep epic. Two of us onto all of these guys. Anyway. The main thing is to try, try and stay alive. And that wouldn't have helped. Yeah, I wouldn't go up there, dude. Just, uh, oh, anything to say? Hey, important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Mm, nothing for me. Okay. Fine. Haven't saved for a while. Oh, good. We're heading in the right direction. I'll just check out the uh, skin tones, actually, while we're here. Oops, sorry. Um, okay, so it's pretty bright at the moment. Um, but, um, yeah, not too bad. Uh, what I did do, um, it was actually turned off by default. Um, so down here, you go into the uh, EMB effect pre-pass FX. And down here in skin, you've got the toggle for on off there. So you see with it off, um, with this brightness, um, my character looks quite pale, quite white, which I really don't like. Um, so I just played around with it um, to get, uh, yeah, that, that um, skin tone that you see there. And it looks even uh, better when you haven't got like full bright sunlight. Um, as soon as it gets a little bit darker, um, yeah, it looks quite realistic. And I'm actually uh, doing something I haven't done before with this current setup. Um, I'm actually rocking a couple of grass mods. Um, so far, so good. Um, I haven't seen anything crazy going on. Um, so I've actually got uh, viscous foliage installed. And the main reason I have that one is because it adds grass pretty much right over the volcanic region. And what I'm going to do is just quickly turn off depth of field now. Because um, that is actually how I would normally play. Yeah, so that's the main reason I like viscous foliage. It adds grass right over the volcanic region, which I think is normally pretty ugly. Um, so it's nice to actually have that grass cover uh, to make it look a little nicer. And then when I was installing enhanced landscapes, um, I actually chose the grass um, overhaul option there as well. Um, and that one is installed later, so um, that wins out with any conflicts. So I'm sort of... Oh, hello there. Jesus. Dinophilus. That was very sneaky, Dino Phyllis. My god. What a hiding spot. I'm so glad I saw him. So yeah, even though Viscous Foliage is one of my favourite grass mods, um, it can get a little crazy, <laughs> as you can see right now. Uh, we are actually on a path doesn't feel like it but we are uh, it's just really really overgrown uh, there is a uh, another part of that mod um, I think it's called viscous foliage fixes which I have used uh, there's instructions on the um, mod page um, explaining what you need to do but um, I have actually used that fixes which does clear it up quite a bit um, the only <clears throat> Excuse me, the only problem is it does remove all the grass from the volcanic region, and that's what I like, so I don't use the fixes part of that mod anymore. Um, and I just have to put up with some very overgrown areas like here. 
which doesn't really bother me too much. Um, it's not like these tracks get used a lot to, to wear the grass down. So things are going to get a little wild as far as I'm concerned. So it's still pretty realistic for me. Okay, I guess we go this way. I'm just uh, wondering what I'm going to get jumped by next. Oh, I see something up ahead. Oh, I see somebody up ahead. He probably hasn't seen me. Damn, he's moving so fast. Ow, Jesus. Chill, buddy. Yeah, that's what you get. Now the wolf's coming for me. Wolf, I saved your ass right then. Really? Ah, oh, keep the arrow. <laughs> okay, what is this dude? Um. Oh, no. Thought he was just around this bunch of trees. Is that him in there? Yes, it is. You were hiding from me. He's a Breton. Oh, he's got ebony armor. Nice. Oh, I'll definitely take that potion of vigorous healing. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. So I must be still on the road because there's another signpost. And a cart. Yep. Oh my god, that's a cat right there. Holy crap. Is that even going to attack me? I think it's a friendly cat. Oh. Wow, you got some freaky eyes, dude. Yes, you have. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, just checking you out. We're gonna let you be now. Hey, settle. Don't, don't you even think about it. Yeah, I see you doing your squats, limbering up. You better still be on that ledge. Where is he? Oh, you're still there. Cool. Oh, are we going the right way? No, we're not. Damn, I've got to get close to this thing again. Riften, this way. Yeah, stay. Stay. Yeah, I think we're safe. Oh, God, not another one. A white fox, maybe? Also looks friendly-ish. Are you friendly? Whoa. You are one very white fox. Albino fox, maybe. I almost don't want to put my bow away. Oh god, I can hear something. Oh, shivers. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, there's another one. Man, these animals have got me a little bit spooked at the moment. Whoa, chill, buddy. Can I have my arrow, please? Thank you. Where did you go? Oh, there's an alchemist there. I guess the uh, wolf finished them off. The wolf that I seem to have lost. Where'd you go? There you are. Thank you. Alright, we'll put the uh, bell away for a bit. We're going to risk it. Let's just uh, check the view out. 
while we're here. Yeah, so we really have got a absolute pearler of a day now. Completely clear. And you can see the shadows, um, as I was talking about before, quite dark. Um, yeah, I absolutely adore that. I think they've got it um, just right here. Um, I love that contrast. Like, it actually feels like we're um, in the shadow of the trees at the moment. And then it would just burn your eyes out in the sun. Very cool. Oh my god, I so want to have a shot at these guys. I'm going to do it. And we'll go into sneak just to try and get that uh, bonus as well. Wow, you see the sun shining off my left hand there. That is so bright. Okay, keep on walking. Oh, I think it dropped a little low. Oh, critical strike. Two times damage. You are dead. How did I not hit that dude? He was standing so still. He's gone behind the uh, shelter. Come on. Oh. Hello. Oh, that's way too high. They're going down some steps. Oh, speaking of steps. Walk into that, buddy. Oh, I can see where my arrow's hitting. It's so close. It's a little low though. It's near impossible to get them when they're um, moving too. Okay, let's see how that one goes. Oh my god. Okay, I give up. Those guys are just like, where the hell are these arrows coming from? Oh wow, it's so dark here. In the shadows. Really cool. Love it. Alright, let's push on. It's already 13 minutes past 4. Oh my god, we've wasted the whole freaking day. Just about. I don't even think we're going to get there before nightfall now. So you see my distant uh, tree lords are looking um, pretty nice. 3D ultra trees. Thanks to a dindu lord. And the way to get these uh, green aspens in this area um, is through enhanced landscapes. Um, it is actually an option. But you do have to have enhanced vanilla trees installed, which has that uh, realistic uh, aspen trees mod integrated into it. And then enhanced vanilla trees sorry, not enhanced vanilla trees, enhanced landscapes um, can then change those to be green. And they are definitely my favourite. I love them. Okay, let's speed things up a bit here. We do want to... Oh, Jesus. You're right. Sorry, I didn't mean to get in your way. Yep, who have we got here? Okay, looks looks cool. G'day, mate. If you know any true sons and daughters of Skyrim, tell them to head to Windhelm. Ulfric Stormcloak wants to see them. Yeah, roger that. Um, there's some Imperials up in the pass too, so uh, yeah, look out. Four of you, five of you. Yeah, you might be right. Yay, another signpost.
Oh, good day, boys. Hail, friend. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. Got that right. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Uh, I would love to share a drink with you, a friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits. Arr. <laughs> well, your spirits. That's it. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. Ah, oh, thanks, brother. You too. I guess we better down that one. Um, oops. Oh, there it is. Skull. Done. Uh, this is one of the... Oh, hello, little cat. One of the uh, house mods I have installed. I've pretty much got um, house mods installed all over the map. Damn, there's something really big walking around. Um, but I have noticed um, this one's got a few issues with my setup. Uh, you'll see this area here is sort of raised a little bit, which is a little bit weird. I thought I heard some really big footsteps. Like a troll or something? I don't know. But how sweet does that look? A little log cabin in the woods by the lake. Love it. Alright, we need to push on. Wow, it's now 540. We will be running out of daylight soon. Oh, jeez. Hello. What are you guys doing? More storm cloaks. Just chilling. Think you might be in the wrong place, friend. Oh, okay. Not very friendly of you. Next Imperial I see is dead. Mm, well, head up to the pass. There's a few up there you could uh, possibly kill. Well, it's getting really dark in this forest now. I'm actually worried I'm just going to get jumped by all these animals. What I might do is just get a little bit better prepared. Where's my shield? There it is. I have a sneaking suspicion my bow is not going to be that handy because these animals are going to be on top of me. Yeah, we don't really have time to be checking out too much. So we're just going to push on. Oh God, I can hear a bear or something breathing. That must have been really close. Okay, I think we're going to make it. Oh god, I can hear something breathing. 
but I can't see what it is. Okay, cool, we can actually see Riften now. Yay! Oh, that's a neat trick. Matrix style. Oh my god, we're almost there. What time is it? 5 to 7 p.m. Wow. That has taken a complete day. I was not expecting that. Yeah, I must say the lighting with this AMB is just really spot on. It just really feels like it's going into early evening. Lights just fading beautifully. The uh, sunset wasn't really that colourful, but uh, we do have some clouds again now, so that probably didn't help. Now that we've made it, I'm um, just going to skip ahead an hour and see if um, the sunset looks any different. New. Nope gone. Stars are coming out. Nice. Damn, you need a torch. Really? You gotta keep your eyes open? Can you actually see anything at the moment? It's getting pretty dark. You don't even have a torch. If it's a bed you need, talk to Kirava in the BM boy. She'll set you right. Yeah, you know what? That's a really good idea. We'll head there now. Because we do have to still check out the interior with uh, prismatic EMB. So, you'll see it is quite um, dark at night uh, with this EMB, but I will mention um, it does have a optional download file, and in that, in that optional file um, it has a stronger depth of field option, also lighter nights, which obviously would uh, brighten things up here quite a bit, and I think the other one is um, a different coloured uh, sun glare like a redder sun glare. Wow, it's almost pitch black. You guys probably can't see Jack right now. Hello. Okay. Let's get inside, just in time. It just starts to rain and we make it to the beam barb. Perfect. Oh wow, that lighting is superb. I love that. That is spot on. Oh my god, you're so rude. Yeah. What's your problem? Oh my god. Is there something I can do for you? Uh, what's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both? Mm, yeah, both, actually. That was a, um, a long walk. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of the old red wine. Um, hmm. Yeah, white gold tower. Yeah, we'll get one of those. And, um... 
Yeah, we'll take your venison chop as well. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. Okay, no worries. And thanks for that. Never done an honest day's work in your life for all that coin you carry. Oh my yes. god, you cheeky. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, <laughs> we haven't much to discuss. <clears throat> so that is Brynjolf. That's the guy we're going to be talking to. To possibly... Sorry, afraid I can't help you much right now. Possibly find Maybe out more. where Isburn may be hiding out. Yeah, what do you want? If this is about the metery, we can talk later. Yeah, okay. Chill. Everybody. Otherwise, hit the road. Yeah, I got the coin. Wow, this fire's really bright. I'm actually feeling warmer standing here, though. Crazy. <laughs> Alright, so we made it. Mm. New around rifting? Take my advice. Stay at the B involved. The bunkhouse isn't for you. Yeah, so overall, I'm um, really liking the interiors. Um, yeah. What's your problem? I don't think I need to adjust them at all. Uh, might be a different story in a dungeon, I'm not sure. Um, usually the interior lighting in dungeons is a little bit different to inside buildings like this. Alright. Let's just have a quick chat to Burnyoff. Actually, I'm looking for this old guy hiding out in Rifton. Ah, expecting free information, eh? Help me deal with business first. Then we'll see how I can help you. Besides, you look like your pockets are a little light on coin. Am I right? Um, you couldn't be more wrong, actually. And my wealth is none of your business. Oh, but that's where you're wrong, lass. Wealth is my business. Maybe you'd like a taste. Uh, what do you have in mind? I've got a bit of an errand to perform, but I need an extra pair of hands. And in my line of work, extra hands are well paid. Uh, what do I have to do? Simple. I'm going to cause a distraction. You're gonna steal Medesi's silver ring from a strong box under a stand. Once you have it, I want you to place it in Branche's pocket without him noticing. Oh, is that all? Break the law, are you kidding? Oh, sorry. I usually have a nose for this kind of thing. Never mind then, lass. If you change your mind, come find me. Okay, so it looks like we are eventually going to actually have to do that in order to get some information on where Esburn may be hiding out. Um, but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. Whoa! Bartender's having a little bit of a dance over there. Yeah, I don't want to read that. Um, hello. If you've got the coin, you're welcome here. Otherwise, hit the road. Actually, she might have some information. I'm looking for an old guy hiding out somewhere in Rifton. Never heard of anybody like that. But if you want to hide out in Rifton, the rat weighs where you'd be. There's a sort of tavern down there, the Ragged Flagon, where all the low lives in Rifton get drunk and knife each other. Oh, sounds nice. You might try there if you can get through the ratway alive. Oh, I think I could get through the ratway alive. Cool. Um, so I think we'll just get a room for the night here. Uh, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. I was like hoping you'd say that. Yeah, what do you want? Oh, settle down. Damn. Oh shit, where'd you go? Yeah, what's your problem? I don't have a problem. If Unless you keep talking. You come to the right place. Oh, I'm always looking for a challenge, buddy. Damn, this place is so hostile. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll do. I think I'll be right. Just need a bed. Alright, so that was Prismatic EMB. Um, like I said, very impressed. I love it. So if you guys want to try it out, um, go for it. And uh, don't forget to endorse it as well. And um, that will do for this one. 
and I have no idea which EMB I'll be checking out next. Um, there's quite a few new ones that have just popped up. I want to try them all. Um, so yeah, I have a bit of a decision to make as to uh, which one we install next. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. If you haven't already, then please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to tap notifications so you don't miss any uh, videos. And leave a like if you enjoyed the video, a dislike if you didn't. Uh, thank you so much for your support, it means a lot. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.